We came into the school as strangers and are leaving as friends. <laughs>
The student parking lot in grade 11 was then cut in half to make room for the new sport park. And I'll leave it at that to avoid any controversy. <laughs> this is the year that school actually started to matter for most people. From then on, our grades would count. We realized in grade 11 that our actions would have a direct impact on our future. Now in grade 12, this is the year we realized that maybe we should have listened to our parents, advisors, teachers, and counselors when they counted us to figure out what we're going to do in life. Procrastination is like a credit card. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. <laughs> There's one question on the back of our minds that we're all worried about tonight, and that question is, what's next? I'm personally so used to being in high school that I think, how am I going to be able to go to college or get a good job? <coughs> When's the next time I'll see another game of Foursquare besides at elementary schools? Yeah. When's the next time I'll be able to reenact Shakespeare without being accused of smoking something? Will <laughs> I possibly mooch fries off of after tonight? Will I ever be able to loiter and talk on the front steps of the building without being called a bomb? When's the next time I'll be able to belt out girls just want to have fun with my friends? Okay. And what will it be like not seeing those friends from 8 o'clock to 3.15 every day? I love you guys. school and real life. So I'm asking you not to worry about what's ahead of you tonight. Save that for tomorrow. I want all of, I want all of us to reflect on these past years of school, because real life doesn't matter tonight. This is our graduation. Yeah. Yeah. It's an experience which will never be repeated again. I mean, when's the next time our whole graduating class will be in the same room? Yeah? It's a sad... Okay. <laughs> yes, it's a sad fact that really hasn't said it yet. But after tonight, we're not going to be seeing much of each other anymore. And you know how people write their phone numbers and emails and uh, yearbooks? Well, it's there for a reason. Because the friends one makes in high school can, without doubt, help them through the difficult times in life, and even the good times. Despite how crazy life can get with post-secondary education, jobs, marriages, divorces, babies, and losing those close to us, try to keep in touch with each other. Because starting September, we won't be going back to Old Bluey. <laughs> this is the one and only time I'll be envious of the grade 13s coming back to the school. <laughs> but friends and classmates aren't the only ones that made the school great. It's time, to bring to it's, it's time to bring to mind what made the school so good. These are the things that I, and hopefully you will remember when departing from this institute. I will remember the school's potato cheddar soup. <laughs> Changes are inevitable, 
And though my hairstyle may not have changed this year, I can tell that I have. I think I've become more immature. <laughs> Each time we change as an individual, we are graduating from a phase in our life. High school graduation is today, but at a reunion, we'll see who has graduated with honors in life. So, I've been speaking for a while now and really haven't yet done my job of imparting some final advice, so I guess I'll get on that. <laughs> the whole purpose of schooling is to give one knowledge. What one does with that knowledge is left to the person. What is important to know about knowledge, though, is that it's nothing without its good buddy wisdom. It's impossible to apply our knowledge correctly without some wisdom first. Thusly, we must try new things and use what we've learned to gain that little bit of wisdom. We keep on learning until we die, so we must keep on doing until we die. Just like how Q is nothing without you, one needs wisdom to apply knowledge. So, in the finest words of Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus, take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Yeah. 